let's stay on this general kind of top conversation and in, in terminology here and add in the mm. metaverse right like the the visual yes. representation maybe of of what we're going to be doing in web3 you mentioned a car as an nft asset but certainly land is mm -hmm. something that's you know with the launch of the other side going to be uh, another land sales coming about and this metaverse is so important to kind of housing almost everything we're doing so how are you looking at the the metaverse uh in general as it relates to the nft space i know that's a large question but i'm sure you, you got it well yes i mean as the owners of the sandbox you know we definitely have a big hand in this and you know we're also early investors in decentraland and this all came from the belief that you know virtual land is as valuable if not more valuable than physical land and i think we have to unpack that a little bit because physical land what is it really what does it really mean when you buy, you know, something in Beverly Hills or when you buy something in Fifth Avenue, what are you in fact buying? You're buying, in the case of Fifth Avenue, the time and attention of, you know, the location of the foot traffic that comes through because you know that, you know, you might sell more items if it's on Fifth Avenue. But if you want to buy something in Beverly Hills, for instance, or in the peak in Hong Kong, you don't want foot traffic. You want more, you know, maybe privacy, and, but you do want status. You want people to know that you live in a place where other people that might be similar or that you aspire to be like are living there. Both of them have network effects that are compounded based on the communities that exist around them, whether it's temporary or permanent. And now when you think of this in context, right, then actually the value of land is virtual in its, uh, in its meaning. Because I could take the same building, I could take Times Square and plonk it in the middle of Africa, and it wouldn't be interesting nor valuable. Right? It might be an oddity, but nobody would say, wow, let's go visit Times Square over in, you know, somewhere, uh -huh. right? It, Times Square is Times Square because it's in New York, right, for instance. And, and these are things that are, build part of their legacy and build part of that story and therefore sort of uh, that value. Now, when you look at it this way, the stories that were compounded there through human history is based on, you know, the time and attention that people have spent in those places. Well, where will we spend our time and attention in the future? It's probably in the metaverse. Where, in fact, are we spending our time and attention right now? Likely virtual. <laughs> What are you doing first thing in the morning? What are you doing before you go to bed? What, in fact, are you doing most of the time? What are we doing right here, right now? We are actually attending in a virtual forum, which means that our virtual attention is more valuable to us, perhaps, than our physical one. It used to be important to be the cover of a magazine. It used to be important to be seen at the right places. The Oscars or the Grammys were perhaps important events to be in. Maybe not so much today. It's more important where you are virtually. And therefore, if that is true, and if we accept that to be where the future goes, then doesn't it actually make sense that virtual real estate and virtual land in the same way becomes just as valuable? And you can see some of that play out today as well. With Sandbox, for instance, the land around Snoop is more valuable. Why is it more valuable? Uh -huh. Technically speaking, you know, couldn't you just teleport from one place to another? But actually, you know, it's, it's valuable because it's right next to Snoop. When people look at the land, they know that he's a neighbor. And it happens to be that Snoop sometimes also calls you out and says, hey, you know, welcome to my, you know, welcome to my neighborhood, for instance, right? There's, um, there's all of these elements that play into what makes virtual real estate as valuable as physical one, if not more. But I think it's actually not that different when you break it down that way.